Here with the 2020 Mensink Racing Products USRA Hobby Stock National Champion, Dustin Gulbranson. This is Dustin's sixth USRA Hobby Stock National Championship. Uh, won five in a row. Uh, didn't have as much luck in 2019 and then turned it around in 2020. Uh, first question, what's it like to have that expectation each season to, to always compete at the championship level? Is that any extra pressure going into a season? Uh, yeah, I guess I'd be lying if I said it wasn't. Um, everybody expects you to finish toward the front or finish toward the front of the points, I guess, after having seasons like we've had in the past. So there's always a little extra pressure every night or every year to be up there or else, you know, people are going to think maybe you're slowing down a little. Being, uh, being in that Sioux Falls, South Dakota area, you're kind of in the, in the hotbed for USRA hobby stock racing. Really there's several nights that, that rapid speedway and I-90 speedway will have 30 plus car fields. Um, What's it like to have to prepare weekly to uh, to compete against fields like that? Um, I mean, we prepare the same, I guess, for any track we go to. We make sure the car is ready to go, whether there's 10 cars or 30 cars, I guess. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't really change what we do in the shop. We make sure everything's maintenance the same way. And uh, I guess it's just more, more people to race against is all the only way I see it, I guess. Looking at the uh, 2020 season, uh, it's worth pointing out, you know, 26 wins and 51 races. Um, just to kind of talk about some of the some of the season, what were some of the high points of 2020? Uh, I mean, besides it being 2020, I guess. Uh, racing was good for us. Everything else kind of sucked. But it was kind of a year that I don't think we'll probably ever be able to duplicate again. Uh, obviously, having the Deer Creek win was definitely uh, one that I won't forget. Uh, just being able to race there once a year is even awesome. Um, and then the U.S. Trade Nationals was something we, we tried for every last six years or whatever, and we always fell short. And finally able to get that one, that was, that was kind of nice. And uh, I guess the points title is cool. And I guess just everything was good about this year. It seemed like everything went our way. And so hopefully all the bad luck stays away next year. <laughs> You've got the, uh, the championship car there behind you, the championship check, just to kind of take us a, a little tour around the uh, Hobby Stock National Championship shop here, uh, Dustin Gilbranson headquarters. You've got a stock car on the way. I, I let the cat out of the bag here. It's, actually, you... it's actually our shop, or my workshop that we own. Uh, uh, here's the car. It's going to go to Seabees Graphics next Friday to get wrapped. So right now it's pretty, pretty plain Jane. Having a hoist is always nice too. We get a little spoiled, I guess. <laughs> you got the smoke chassis. And, yeah, it's pretty much ready to go for next year. Just waiting on Jake Tim to get the to get the OFI motors ready to go for this year. And something we switched to last year was going back to an open motor. And I don't know, we really like the change. I think with the racing tires, it seemed to seem to uh, fit fit a little better with the open motor. I think. I was gonna say there, you, uh, you got a stock car on the way. I'll let the cat out of the bag if you want to want to talk about that a little bit too. Uh yeah, I just seen a good seen a good deal come up last week and figured I couldn't pass that one up. Uh, it, it's so. it's Todd Staley's car. It can't be that good of a deal. Well, <laughs> he wanted it, so it's got to be a pretty good car. And I know everybody that drove it was fast last year in it, so hopefully we can have some success and i don't know how much we'll race this year we're gonna focus on the hobby again for one more season and probably race the stock car off and on whenever we get chance i'm gonna run through the uh, list of contingency sponsors as well in addition to the uh, the fifteen hundred dollar win there for the championship uh summit racing equipment all-star performance afco racing products bsb manufacturing 49 designs hooker harness integra racing shocks and springs lander and performance springs qa1 real racing wheels cbisma graphics and Weir's Machine and Racing Products. I know those uh, product sponsors help out a lot, um, getting the car oh, ready for 2021. Yeah, I actually just got mine yesterday and uh, opened it up, and I was I was very surprised how much stuff was in there. Just Ryan does a good job on that every year. It just keeps getting better and better, and can't thank them guys enough. Um, US Ray definitely definitely treats their drivers right. And there's a, I think I added up. There's about $6,500 in contingency stuff in the package with cash and prizes. So. There's not many places that'll that'll dish that out to a hobby stock class, you know. That, and plus, that, I think second place got a crate motor, so I mean, there's a lot of a lot of good stuff. Yeah, that'll that'll help you get going the next year, huh? Oh, definitely. Yep. So, congratulations, Dustin, on your sixth USRA Hobby Stock National Championship. Good luck as well in 2021. All right, thank you, sir. 
Again, that is Dustin Gilbranson, the 2020 Men's Sync Racing Products USRA Hobby Stock National Champion.